Since the beginning of civilization, the world has been full of unknown things. Due to their existence, the balance of mankind's peaceful life has been upset. However, no matter how advanced our technology, no matter how great our scientific breakthroughs, there will always be anomalies that cannot be explained. We don't know where they come from or what their purpose is. These questions plague mankind and affect our daily lives. It's because of this that we founded the SCP Foundation, an organization dedicated to containing anomalous items, individuals, and phenomena. The SCP Foundation is committed to maintaining the normalcy of the world so that people may live free of fear. While ordinary people live in the sunlight, we must fight anomalies in the shadow. We must prevent them from being exposed to the public so that people may live in a rational and ordinary world. We secure. We contain. We protect. I hate when elevators do that. Why? Give me a second. You got stuff on the boards here. Vicious statement. Uh, I can't read any of that. The glare is too bad. Foundation considers anomalies with the goal of preventing them from falling into the hands of civil, civil, civ of civilian arrival. You're screw trying to read. Rings for nerds. Hello? Okay, I, I'm trying to figure out who's opening doors, who's shutting doors. I'm 14. You know, there is very little security for this being an SCP place. Yeah, that's neat. I got going on here. Carl Astana? You have access to classified top secret archives. Please confirm you are aware of all confidentiality clauses and agree to swear by strictly adhere to all SCP Foundation regulations and guidelines. I have friends. Each day your superior will sign you task missions module. When a new task, the button will blink red and remind you. Communication with the site primarily on the instant message service. Training is effective. Page shows public information of all sites around the world. You can view information at any time. To conclude this introduction, we wish you success in your work. All right, what's these so-called friends? All 
All right, yeah, I have no what's going on. I can't, I can't leave the friends. One publishing any authorized abnormal magnetic me medium in public chat group. Hang on, I am trying to read. Chat group is prohibited. Warning beware of doing undue interventions with researching humanoid anomalies SCPs. I'm not even paying attention to anything that they're saying. Y'all can pause and read that. I'm. I'm Goal 2, document sharing server passwords 3501, SCP-249 is temporarily access restricted. Please use restroom number 2 for the days to come until damage is repaired. I just get mad at everybody now. Yeah, what's my job? Everybody else is getting handed work and I'm getting nothing. Stop talking and go do what I need to do. I want to shoot something. Actually, I don't. I don't even know what SCP I'm going to have to fight. No, I think I'll put a timestamp on the thing for you guys just to skip ahead so we don't got to sit through all this. System notice. Notice that the cursor is signed in to begin. Okay, so I can go through training. I didn't want to do training. But, you know, got to learn something. Training's about to get... Jason Carter is that a, a death lemon? row inmate. In exchange for clemency, he has agreed to work with the SCP Foundation for 30 days. Upon completion of his work, he will be a free man. Nah, I don't trust that. By that free man, they mean they shoot you. Jason Carter is now D503. Thirty as in thirty days. Day one. Okay, so I. Okay, I'm playing Lethal Company.
me. I don't even get a bed. I get a chair. And I don't get a weapon. I get a... D-503 was given no clear instruction of the task to be completed. He must find them out for himself. Collect the waste. Alright, sounds easy enough. Petrol tank, plastic petrol tank, hard to decompose even after a hundred years. One of more stubborn pieces of. Oh, so by waste, I'm just gathering garbage. Okay, I understand. I thought they had me out here cleaning up some toxic crap. Can't go any further. Discarded tire, discarded tire filled with sand after vehicles became the main form of transportation. Discarded tires begin to show grow in numbers. All this is just one big desert. I I'm pretty much just playing lethal company. I'm driving around in a red orange suit. Gathering garbage. Come on, back it up. Tin drum, a tin drum damaged sign on it. I once picked the hazardous liquid from leaking. It was guarded upon the completion of his mission. Why is the sand like flowing like water? Okay, hold on. What's that? What's that? I'll check that out in a minute. Rusted iron pipe. Neat. an incinerator all right pull this So there's a reason behind me burning all this garbage. I don't know what it is. Do I want to find out? This was D-503's first day of work.
SCP protocol mandates that D-503 now undergo a psychological evaluation. All right, hit me. Please take the level two mental test. So, okay, the orange one, the blue one, so they all fit like puzzles, they all fit in, just gotta know where they go. Alright, see, look. Today's work is complete. System will. Oh, 29 days. Ooh, I get to eat. What's my food? Cheeseburger? Wow. And I still eat it. Also, I do get a bed. This was the first day D503 psychological data was collected. You're probably wondering, how can this job earn freedom for a death row inmate? Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dr. Raymond Hamm from Site 83. Welcome to today's training conference. Today, I'm going to share with you a little project I've been working on called SCP-7457. The desert you saw just now is SCP-7457. D-503 is a volunteer who we invited to help us learn more about this desert. Prior to the Foundation's involvement with SCP-7457, 329 people went missing in this area. As a precaution, we have introduced lockdown measures as we attempt to find the cause of these disappearances. As everyone here is new to the Foundation, it will be good for you to learn about SCP-7457. Let me explain how it works. Before we get started, are there any questions? Dr. Ham, I'm Will Barton, 3rd Special Squad, Site 86. Hello, Will. Before I came here, I thought I had a basic understanding of the Foundation. I've heard of these anomalies, but only in terms of human anomalies. I had no idea that SCP-7457 was a desert. How do we begin to make sense of this? That's a good question, Will. All the unexplained phenomena we are monitoring are being labeled anomalies. Human anomalies, regional anomalies, artifact anomalies, and various other phenomena beyond our control. The work of the Foundation is to isolate these anomalies and prevent the public from, shall we say, experiencing them? Okay, next question. Hello, Dr. Hem. I'm Mark Harris, a research intern from Site 27. In the video, we saw D-503 picking up garbage in the desert. Why did it do that? And what does this have to do with anomalies? Okay, Mark. What I can tell you now is that everything you see is part of SCP-7457. SCP anomalies can be a little difficult to understand at first. Just know that it, or they, have their own rules. Perhaps you'll understand what I mean once we finish watching the video. Okay, let's move on. The first week was fairly normal. However, there was an interesting occurrence on the eighth day. Now, I'll throw hands with anything that tries to come up on me. I, why is there a hole right there? That's the bathroom. Let's have a 
I'm doing this at night. I nearly just flipped my truck. You guys are lucky that you have my are just uh, wanna kill me if I don't do this. So everything in this desert is part of it. Does that mean it's like creating this junk? Roded iron bucket. So what is this desert trying to build like a factory or something? My whole thing is to go around and gather up the junk burn it so that way it doesn't make something. This makes an awful lot of pipes and barrels. Broken air conditioner. Sell all this for a cheeseburger. He finally completed his task. However, he did not realize that he had already encountered his first anomaly. Another mental screening. Please select three pictures with triangles. Alright. Select three pictures that calculation results equal to five. You got me screwed up if you think I know know what's going on here. Um, 125 divided by 15. I do not think that is five. Let's try again. Fifteen divided by three. Okay. I don't understand why I didn't look at that one first. A lot of numbers. Start panicking. I don't even get a cheeseburger. I have to go straight to bed. You go make me work out there in the sand and then I don't even get no food. That night, D-503's psychological data showed abnormal fluctuations. Nah, I'm just not good at math. Analysis tells us that D-503 is Unfortunately, though, we have no way of knowing what he dreamed of that night. He dreamt of the ocean. I'm hating it. Oh, don't put me over that water. I 
teleport back on land. I'm good. I'm happy. Never mind. I'm back in the water. Dude's dreaming of phone booths. The eighth day marked a significant turning point. The start of SCP-7457's impact on D-503. Are there any questions before we go on? Hello, Dr. Ham. I'm Spencer Jones from the Special Operations Department of Site-21. Hello, Spencer. It's still unclear as to why D-503 needs to pick up all of this trash. If you wanted to monitor his psychological response to SCP-7457, why not just leave him out in the desert? Why assign him these tasks when there are already psychological evaluations taking place? Okay. Our analysis has indicated that SCP-7457 produces a new cluster of trash every 8 minutes and 37 seconds. If waste collection is not done regularly, all that trash may soon flow into our world. It is worth noting, though, that the quantity of waste created here pales in comparison to the amount produced by humans. However, it still has the potential to become a significant problem in the future. By assigning these tasks to D-503, we can monitor his reactions while also containing the trash. There is another reason, but we will get to that one later. Is it not the case that the Foundation is exaggerating the importance of a minor issue before the issue is fully understood? Okay, everyone. I must emphasize that behind us is the general public, who are wholly unaware of any of this. Being meticulous and maintaining a serious attitude is essential at the SCP Foundation. Any oversight or underestimation of the enemy may result in disaster. Thank you, Dr. Ham. I know, for a company that pretty much Good. runs the world, Let's they got a on. shoddy internet connection. The effects of SCP-7457 on D-503 became most obvious on day 15 of the test. Due to the conditions that day, we were only able to track his movements after recovering data from his radar. It was definitely a bad day. Perhaps the worst. Even for a death row inmate. Oh, don't tell me I'm gonna die out here. Just gonna go ahead and throw me out in the sand. I'm gonna make it clear. I don't mess around with no tentacles or nothing, so there better be none of that. Five oh three found a radar that perfectly resembled his own. Another radar, World War Two type. There's a lot However, of. However, D five oh three didn't seem to think much of it. I'm thinking a lot of it. Who else is out here for me? Hang on, you're, you have me out here gathering up all this trash. And I know a specific group of people that would love to come out here and dig through this sand to gather up that copper. You know what? I should. No. no. Yeah. They're on a certain substance. Something I can't say because YouTube would get mad over it. What? Could, could I just go walking off into the desert? I don't want to do that. I'm too scared. Persistent adverse physiological reactions proved to be a challenge for D-503. He still managed to complete his work on day 15. But then he encountered an incident. Hey, you let people know there's copper out here in this... 
Sandstorm. D-503 walked in the sandstorm for a long time, but he couldn't seem to find his way back. A walk? Dude, look. Oh, I don't like that. Look, look at all this copper. All these wires that are tentacles, whatever they are. They have copper in them. Let people know that this is down here. They'll have this entire place cleaned out within an hour. They got the sand down here, too. You good? Why is a phone booth giving me nightmares? It sounds lie. No, oh, run. Visibly trembling D-503 returned to Site-8. I'm so alive. We immediately performed a psychological evaluation. Alright, you know, instead of having me perform these psychological tests, why not have me, like, write down or talk about what I just witnessed? Major fluctuations Please can connect now all be observed in D-503's physiological data. of the psychological evaluation were so troubling we had to abort the mission I'm going physical now D503 was able to break away from the foundation's control what where's my bed he has seen the test results of other level D personnel That's right. None of the level D personnel at SCP-7457 have ever been able to leave this desert. Well, today's the day someone's about to leave.
It built a city? And I got rocked and rolled? Humans often believe that their fate is in their own hands. That all choices come from their own free will. They don't realize that we humans form only a small part of this world. Out there, in the unknown world, we are as insignificant as a grain of sand in this vast desert. Sister, what is up with that phone booth? Do I have like anxiety of talking to people over the phone or something? Is that what's going on? Me into a phone booth? This is where D five oh three's instincts led him. Those rolls of copper were people? was 31 miles away from the waste treatment facility. All the data we have came from this radar. People entering SCP-7457 will suffer varying degrees of psychological stress within an acute period. It manifests as a range of neurological and mental disorders, as well as severe and unexplained hallucinations. So far, not one participant has left the desert unscathed. The Foundation has tested 31 Level D personnel in an area spanning 2,267 square miles. Our testing continues. When you work for the Foundation, you will face various anomalies. Some can kill you, some may drive you crazy, and some will make you feel that living is worse than death. Let this be very clear. SCP-7457 is just a taste of what you will face in the future. Before joining the Foundation, you were all leaders in your respective fields and industries. Researchers, special forces, FBI agents, national security experts. Well, SCP does not care how smart you are, how accomplished you are. It doesn't matter to them how many doctorates and titles you have. You are no different from helpless ants when confronted with these anomalies. Remember this. It is the most important advice you will receive. Do not take risks. You will die. You are not as special as you think you are. If you encounter an anomaly, put your pride and curiosity aside. Run. Because that's the only thing you can do. God won't protect you here. Welcome to the Foundation, rookies. 
I'm Dr. Raymond Ham, and this ends the first class of our employee induction program. All right, so that was the training course. So, course was arranged appropriately. Yeah, why not? Lecture was qualified. Connection was smooth. Uh, notice of the meeting was punctual. Nah. Don't really. F yeah. All right, yeah. Thank you for your feedback. We wish work. What? Oh, I got friends still. Okay. On this reading, past hour has been torture. I don't know how the others managed to hold on so long. I messed up during the training session. I jumped off a cliff, fell into an icy water, and choked hard. I don't know how I even recall any of this because I have no memory of ever visiting any cliffs or waterfalls, but it was all so real I can even taste in my mouth about the taste of the river water. But in any case, it's my first day at the foundation. All right, so there's multiple different sites. Site 93. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and then this here, there's a bunch of other sites I can go to, a bunch of different anomalies I can mess around with. If you guys would like to see any more of this or anything else in the future, surely like, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.